So as you can tell, we're not at the Academy Sports Rigs and Techniques CCA workbench. They let me out. I'm out. <laughs> I'm out, out be, behind, behind the bench. Box. But I'm still behind something. I guess you know they well, don't want to show my lower your, half. No, 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 I'm no. Floating apparition. But Dave, you know we have our friend Gene Hammond from Reel, Reeling Freedom. Correct. And Gene, you know what? Certainly, paddle boat sports have become very, very popular, and we've talked about kayaks many times, but. The paddle board is a very fast part of that. It's growing as yeah, we this, speak. Yeah, this whole sport is just exploding. Um, um, today I brought with me um, a, a Voodoo from uh, Catcoop Kayaks designed by Kevin Hawkins out of uh, Tarpon Springs, Florida. And, and you know, this is 13 feet long, 35 inches wide, and extremely stable. You can get skinny with a, a high degree of stealth. And, and because it's a paddle board, you're standing up, you can sight cast those fish. Now, and, I noticed yeah. that we have a two-handed pat paddle. That's right, yeah, that's what I recommend because y when you're standing up, you can still utilize that in the traditional sense, right. going back and forth. But when you wanna move and cover ground and you're sitting down, it's good to have two blades so you can paddle it like a, a normal kayak. All right, so let's so, just simply start at the back and work our way forward, yep. Gene. So you have the power pole micro. Yeah, micro power pole, when you get to where you wanna go, you, you know, this time of year we have a lot of um, tarpon moving through the area. Right. And we sit up on those inlets with the moving water, get to where you're going, and you, and you just simply put the power pole down and you're stopped. All right, uh, the milk forward, crate. Yeah, the, you gotta have a place to store your stuff. The right? ubiquitous milk crate. It's That's like right, the white yeah. bucket on the back of a sport fisher. <laughs> yeah, I keep, I keep my landing net in there. Um, there's, there's dividers in there for artificial lures, hooks, rigs, whatever you need. It also has some uh, rod holders mounted rod to holders it. On there. Yep. Typically, how many rods do you carry on a day of fishing? Jim? I usually take three. Okay. Right? One, now, yep, go ahead. I'm sorry, the flag is, yep. is that a requirement? It, it is not. No, okay. it is not. The only thing that's really required on a paddle board is a type 1, 2, or 3 PFD and some kind of sound producing device. Okay. Right, whether it's um, an air horn or, or a regular whistle. So you but, just use the flag for awareness? You know, that's safety. safety. You are sitting at the, um, the water level. You want to try to increase your visibility as much as possible. There's jet skis and inshore boats all over the place and, and this just as Unless stealthy you as you are to yeah. the fish, you also are to those boats yeah. that are jetting around. So. Yeah, that's right. And in, in, in low light, um, low oh. light situations, you can go fishing at night all around white light. You know yeah. what I like about that is obviously today is National Flag Day. That's Here right. You are. Yeah. <laughs> what a great time to have reeling freedom on set. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. you're welcome. We've got our cup yeah. holders typically now. Um, what is this big giant bag here, Bob? That's a, a cooler designed for the front of the kayak. You can clip that down onto the kayak and put your catch in there. What I typically use is just a regular stringer, right? Tie it off to your kayak. And, yep. You know, Jimbo talked about some of the electronics and whatnot that are, right. the, the yep. boards have on them. There's a good example of a Garmin. Storage? What yep. is this? This is all storage. You can put your, your drinks in here or, or um, troll. I got a trolling bucket in there. Um, whatever you need in there. So and Gene, tell back. me a little bit about the foundation. Okay, Reeling Freedom was started by um, Paul and Danelle Gage out of Dunedin, Florida. Paul donated 22 years of active duty service to your United States Marine Corps. So when he retired, he bought a boat and started fishing. Well, on these fishing excursions, he noticed a bunch of veterans on the beaches and jetties. So one day he stopped and said, who wants to go fishing? So we started doing this and eventually his wife said, why don't we turn this into a nonprofit? So we put veterans on inshore captain's boats and we take them fishing ourselves. It's our way of giving back um, to a community that's really given us a lot. So, well, we yeah. appreciate what everybody does. I appreciate yeah. you coming. Happy flying One day. last question, you yeah. know, what mistake do paddlers make when they're out fishing? Well, you know what, keep it simple. There's a lot of stuff on this boat right now, but keep, <laughs> it, keep it simple. You're gonna drop stuff. Uh, typically you wanna tie stuff down. A lot of people don't tie stuff down. And, and you know, safety is a, is a key. Don't put this in the hatch. Right. If, if you roll over, it blows off. You, you want this to be able to float if you fall off that board. So if yeah. any vets or anybody else that's watching wants to know about the foundation, where, what website would they go to? Go to reelingfreedom.com. 
You yeah. did a wonderful job. Thank we you. appreciate you I taking appreciate time out of your busy schedule. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. Speaking job, of a guys. busy schedule, Sarah, we got to go someplace else.